We've spent a lot of time looking into the performance of public school students. But what about students in religious and other non-public schools? News 4 has obtained the results, and Rich Newberg has been taking a closer look at how the Catholic schools scored. Rich? Diana, Catholic schools were not required by the state to test their students based on the new Common Core standards. So why did they do it, and how do they stack up? Uh, we made out pretty well. What's the question we don't know? Pretty well, to say the least. Western New York Catholic school students grades 3 through 8 tested 15 to 20 percent higher in English and 2 to 5 percent higher in math than public school students statewide. We teach differently, I think, because we we're able to infuse values. And um, a lot of our class sizes are smaller. Uh, it's, it's just a whole different playing field. Whose behavior am I modeling right now? In this playing field, Catholic values are shared between the home and the school. But beyond the value system, teachers here at St. Gregory the Great in Williamsville began training for the new Common Core teaching standards two years ago. I think um, my teaching is, is getting better because I'm understanding more of the connections and the links. Just 11.5% of Buffalo public school students who took the test were proficient in English language arts, compared to 46% of diocesan students. The results in math, 9.6% to 33%. Here, standardized test results play less of a critical role in the evaluation of students and teachers. While the differences are dramatic, the tests are being treated by the Buffalo Diocese as only snapshots of a student's level of performance. This is not the be-all and the end-all. No kid is going to fail because he or she did poorly on these state tests. We don't have the pressure on us that they have in the public system because it's used in so many different ways to evaluate teachers, to rank schools. Less pressure leads to better classroom performance, says 7th and 8th grade math teacher Shelley Reedy. When I go to the Catholic high schools and I say, how are our kids prepared? And they say very well, that's my evaluation. St. Gregory even outperformed schools in the high-performing Williamsville district. Well, you know, I know they're not required to take the test, but how many of these non-public schools in Erie County took part? Diana, 47 schools, uh, which is about 60% in Erie County, 41 are Catholic schools. And by the way, Rose Ciota of our investigative team obtained and analyzed all the results statewide. You can find them on our website, WIVB.com. I will do that. I'm curious. Thank you, Rich. Now